This is the Samsung T7 Shield. It features 1000 megabytes per second write speed and 1050 megabytes read speed. It is drop resistant up to 3 meters high and IP65 rated dust and water resistant, which means you get that extra protection for your most important files. As you open the box, you will be greeted by the T7 Shield right away and it looks and feels good once you hold it in your hands. It has a 59mm width, 88mm height, 13mm thickness, and weighs about 98 grams. The box includes two types of USB cables. One has the usual USB type A on the other end, and the other has both type C. This thing has a rubber matte texture for its exterior and it feels great to hold it in your hands. I just don't like the part where the dust are sticking to it no matter how many times I wipe it. This thing is small and it is only about the length of 4 peso coins lined up together as you can see. I'm using a 2020 version MacBook Pro so I'm using the USB-C type cable. Jumping off to the screen, you will see some installers for your computer. The software gives you additional security when you plug the T7 Shield into your computer, which asks for your password. I just uninstalled it because I don't want to keep on entering passwords every time I need to use it. So the main reason why I bought the Samsung T7 Shield is to give me more storage space while I'm editing stuff, especially videos. This thing enables me to edit anything without the need of having the files on my computer plus I can edit my projects on any computer whenever I need it. As fresh as it looks, I get a total of 999.99 GB of storage, so not bad. Now I tried to transfer some files from my laptop to my T7 Shield which is around 4.87 GB and it only took less than a minute to complete. If I tried it on my old hard disk drive, it would probably take twice or more to finish. Evident enough to see and feel how fast this thing is, Curiosity got me to try another batch, which is around 15 gigabyte in total size and it was completed in only less than 5 minutes. I also tried to do a screen recording and pointed the target save location to my T7 shield and it went through with no problems. Now let's see how it will perform when I open my Adobe Premiere Pro directly inside of it and I didn't feel any lag while scrubbing through the timeline. So I wanted to push it further and see how many apps I can open simultaneously and continue to use without experiencing any lag or errors. And to my surprise, going back and forth to each app has been smooth and didn't show any problems at all. For the speed test, I got worried because it didn't get me the speed that was originally advertised. So I did a bit of research and found out that I needed to format the T7 Shield into the Max native format, which is APFS. So after changing the format to AFPS, I was able to get around 700 megabyte per second write speed and around 600 megabyte per second read speed. I was actually hoping for more but I can figure out if there is another way to get more speed. If you guys know what I'm missing, I would appreciate it if you can leave a comment on how to do that. So like I said, I bought this to have more storage space and work on my projects while accessing it directly and not having the need to keep my files on my computer. This definitely solves my problem and I hope I was able to give you an idea of whether it would be beneficial for you to buy one yourself. That's all. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button to show some love and support. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.